Hi, this is Andreas from Predictera. In this video tutorial, I will give you an overview and an introduction to the Events User Interface. Assuming you have successfully imported an image file into Events, your screen should look something similar to this. On the left hand side, we have the data tree. This shows you an overview of the hierarchy of datasets and models that are in your project. The dataset with this yellow square is a work copy of your original data, which you can modify in your events project. In this example, there's also a PCA model made from this dataset. By clicking on the plus sign next to each symbol, you can expand to see additional data relating to that dataset or model. If you right click on an item, you will see menu options. For example, to create a model, rename, or clone a dataset. The table area shows information in the form of tables. In this case, we have a list of the observations or pixels in our datasets and a list of our variables. Hold down the left mouse button to make a selection and then right click to access the menu to make modifications. For example, to exclude variables, or to add spectral transformations. If you want to look at specific data as a table, simply drag and drop the data from the data tree to the table area. At the top of the table area, there is a menu to switch between different tables and a toolbar for commonly used tools. The plot area is where you can show information in the form of images and plots. In this case, I have a pseudo RGB image representation of the image file I imported, along with the spectral plot and the default plots generated for a PCA model. The plots and tables in events are interactive and linked, which is useful when doing exploratory analysis. If you hold down the left mouse button and make a selection in a plot, it will highlight the corresponding data in other plots as well as in the table. By right-clicking on a plot, you can access a menu to make modifications to your data set for example, to exclude the selections I just made. After applying the changes I just made, the data and the connected models will be automatically updated. On the top of the plot area, there is a toolbar for commonly used tools. For example, to change the type of selection tool, If you want to magnify an area of a plot and image, simply use the scroll wheel on your mouse to look closer. If you want to look at some data in the form of table and plot, simply drag and drop it from the data tree. In the settings panel on the right side of your screen, you can change the settings for the active plot or image. Here you can, for example, change what data should be used for the plot, what coloring, 
and what labeling should be used. In the layout menu, you can select if you want to show table, plot, or the model areas. 